Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to do rotating 3D coin on After Effects. Now before we start, I just want to say that I'm not a 3D artist, so the stuff that I'm going to show you today is just going to be a super simple and basic 3D technique in After Effects. And I thought rotating 3D coin would be a good example to show you. So I have my project file here, I have my color palette and all of the assets here. And I've already made this project file available for you to download and I've put the link in the description below. Because we don't need to change any of this for now, so I'm just going to hide it. Now the first thing you want to do is to change your composition settings. So go to your composition settings or control K on your keyboard. Go to 3D Renderer and make sure you change the renderer to Cinema 4D. This is really important, otherwise if you don't change this, we won't be able to do 3D in After Effects. Now let's create a circle and make sure the fill is white. I'm gonna call this coin and then turn on the 3D icon on the layer. And as soon as you turn that on, this thing, geometric option, shows up. It's basically way we're going to adjust the extrusion. So there's the extrusion depth here. I'm going to set the view layout to two views so that we can see the layer from above as well. Change the extrusion depth to 50. And now you can already see that your circle is extruded. Now move the anchor point on the Z depth to the middle of the extrusion. So somewhere there. I'm going to go back to one view. Now let's rotate this coin. We're going to rotate the Y rotation. And at the end of the composition, just change that to one times zero. So it just kind of like loop like that. Let's create the texture. I'm going to create a solid. I'm going to select this purple color. I'm going to put it on the bottom here so that we can see everything else. And then I'm going to duplicate this and then change the color. So control shift Y to open the solid setting, change it to pink. I'm going to create a mask on this pink layer, something like that. And then under effects and preset, look for turbulent displays, drop that onto your pink layer. And I'm going to turn up the amount so that we can kind of like see the waviness of the thing and then turn down the size so there's more wave somewhere there will be okay i'm gonna add a time expression on the evolution so hold alt and then click on the stopwatch icon on the evolution type in time asterisk 100. and now i'm gonna duplicate this again I'm going to change the color, Control shift y to open the solid setting, change it to yellow, and I'm just going to move the mask, however you like it, but I'm just going to move it something like that. Alright, now we're done, I'm going to select all those three layers, and I'm going to pre-comp it, and call it texture surface, because this texture is going to be applied only to the surface of the coin, so not the side. Now I'm going to change this to purple, put the coin just above the texture surface and then change the track matte of the texture surface to lower matte. So now your coin already has texture. Now let's work on the side of the coin. So I'm just going to duplicate these two layers, put it on the bottom and then I'm going to click on reveal reveal layer source in projects. So that's just going to show you where your composition is. And I'm going to duplicate that and then I'm going to call it side, texture side. And I'm going to replace this bottom texture surface with texture side. So just click on that and hold alt shift and drag that on. I'm going to change this to another color so we, don't, we know that it's a different thing. Let's go inside the texture side. I'm going to delete everything bring up your color palette for guide i'm gonna create a solid new solid and i'm gonna put a gradient on it so look for gradient wrap 
Now, if you want to know how to do gradients in more details, I have a tutorial made already and I've put it in a link description below if you're interested. But for now, I'm just going to do something quick. So I'm just going to do that, turn off the color palette. And now we're going to create lines. You know how coins usually have that kind of like greedy line texture. I don't know why you call it, but we're going to recreate that. So let's create that using our pen tool. Make sure you turn the fill to none and then stroke to however you want, but I'm going to choose five pixel. Create a line, name that line, and then look for CC Reptile on your effects and preset. Put that on your line. And we're going to adjust the expand down and expand up. It's basically just going to repeat the line upwards and downwards. So I'm going to put that to 500. That looks great. Go back to your main comp. Now, if you play around with it, you'll notice that you can't see the line side texture. That's because the texture surface is covering the line texture. The reason why is because we're using Luma Matte and Luma Matte, it only applies to the object that has white color. So we want to change the coin color on the side to be black so that the Luma Matte doesn't apply to the side as well. So I'm just going to turn this coin back on and then go under contents and then click on add and side color. So basically we're adding a side color of the coin. I'm going to change that to black. So if we turn this off. Okay, so it's not working. I think there's something wrong um, because we have some hidden layers. So I'm just going to turn that off. And gonna bring this up here. Yeah. And we're gonna hide those layers again. Sorry about that. So now you can see the side texture. All right, now we're gonna create a dollar sign that's stuck onto your coin. Now, initially, I thought it will be easier if we can just like put dollar sign here, right? I mean, like, technically, it shouldn't be that hard should be you should be able to just like put it there and then it's done but the problem is because it's a 2d layer so it doesn't really rotate with the coin and i don't know what's the best way to do this because the way that i'm going to show you is a bit inconvenient so if you have a more convenient way please feel free to suggest it in the comments below so i'm gonna go back to the very first frame and then i'm gonna type in dollar sign I'm gonna hit Control Alt Home so that the anchor point of the dollar sign is in the middle of the sign. Then align it. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. And then turn it to 3D layer. And I'm just gonna put it just above the coin. Alright, I'm gonna name this coin surface and coin side so we know the difference. I'm gonna parent this to coin surface. And then go to where the side of the coin is kind of like facing us. Or you can also use the coin surface rotation as a guide. So when it reaches like around 90 degree, we're going to split that. So control shift D. And then turn on the two views. I'm going to turn the coin surface back on again, just so that we can see what's going on here. So the second dollar sign, I'm going to move it to there and if we turn this off I'm just gonna flip the second dollar sign so go to your scale turn off the constraint proportion and type in minus 150 or whatever your size is just make sure it's minus and now let's go to where the side is facing us again or around like 270 on your coin surface somewhere there yeah somewhere there and then like let's split it again Control shift d and this time i want to copy the position and the scale of the first dollar and paste it on the third dollar all right we have our rotating coin now i'm just gonna pre-com all of this pre-com and then call it coin 
animation. The next thing is we're going to create a shadow. So I'm going to change this to cyan. And then we're just going to duplicate this. And then on the bottom one, I'm going to call it shadow. And I'm going to parent it to the top layer. Then go to your scale on the shadow, turn off the constant proportion, and change the y axis to minus 100. Now you just have to adjust the position of the shadow. And I like to change the mode to multiply, just because I like how it looks. And turn down the opacity to 50. And I'm just going to add a little bit of extra thing, which is scatter. So you can find that in the effects and preset. Drop that on the shadow layer. And I'm going to set it to 100 scatter. So it just kind of like give an extra flavor to the shadow. So that's basically it. I'm just going to add that shining effect on the coin. So let's go back inside the coin animation. And let's go inside the texture surface. I'm going to create a white solid. White solid. Name that shine. Change the layer color to orange or something. And I'm going to create this kind of like long, thin rectangle thing. I'm going to change the feather. So hit F on your keyboard. Change the feather to maybe like 20. And then turn down the opacity to 50. And we're just going to animate the mask. So it's somewhere there. And I'm going to cut that there. So all close square bracket. I'm going to move the mask on the end keyframe to here. And then on the beginning of the keyframe to top left here. So let's preview this. Yeah, so I'm just going to copy and paste this or duplicate this and just kind of like move that around somewhere like that just randomly so that it keeps doing that. Let's go back to the main comp. If we turn off the shy mode. Alright, so we want to make sure that the coin and the shadow goes below the green layers and all of the orange layers should be at the background. That's just because I have this kind of like shine layer that should go above the coin animation. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's preview this. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Thank you.